Alright guys, welcome to a, another beer review. Gotta keep quiet because uh, people are asleep in the other room. And uh, yeah, I was in the mood to do a beer review. So today we've got a, a fairly local brewery. And one that I've um, only rarely just heard about. Saw a few of their beers floating around on some of the more northwest based beer websites. And I was in the Northern Beer Temple recently. And uh, John, the owner highly recommended these guys and especially this beer so today we've got the never known it fog like it which is um, a new england style ipa clocking in at 5.2 percent courtesy of rivington brewing company so I'll quickly read you the back on the the label rivington brewing company is a craft brewery based out of our dairy farm in rad rural lancashire our philosophy is about honesty, brewing rarely ace craft beer with that excites us and that we're proud to drink. We use traditional methods and the best ingredients we can get our hands on. We're passionate about craft beer and beer we make, but don't take ourselves too seriously. Inspired by the bitterness, high aroma, murky, uh, juicy pale ales from New England, drink fresh, best served cold and enjoyed with friends. So better for date is 14th of the 12th, 2018. And uh, yeah, awesome looking artwork. And uh, yeah, just it's so nicely presented, isn't it? And there is a black crown. So without any further ado, let's get this beer opened and see what we get. Now, um, I was told, as the bottle cap rolls away, that this is nearly as good, if not as good, or potentially better than some of the stuff Cloudwater are brewing. And, uh, God, look at that. Look at that already. Jesus Christ. That is definitely a Merc bomb. So we won't pour it all in. Pour it the rest in in a little while. But just look at that. There's no vibrancy at all with this one. That is just like pure, murky, dirty, sort of like spring water. But at the same time, it's just like a big block of like a slightly chalky colour. Lovely sort of like muted orangey, murky brown tones in there. God, that just looks so rich, doesn't it? And the beer poured with about one finger's worth of a white, fluffy looking head. God, that just looks absolutely fantastic. Almost, almost reminds me of like a cloudy apple juice. Or maybe like a cloudy, like, I don't know, it just looks like cloudy murky juice, doesn't it? Jesus, I like that already. I can't tell if there's any bits or pieces in there as of yet. Yeah, there are little bits at the bottom. I'm not sure why I didn't see that. But um, yeah, apricot yogurt almost as well. Just fantastic. Anyway, let's give it a bit of a sniff. Oh, that's lovely. That's absolutely wonderful. Big, juicy citrus notes. Lovely tropical melon. A little bit of mango. Has that sort of like fried or roasted onion dankness to it. But yeah, lovely, juicy grapefruit aromas pineapple like breakfast juice like mediterranean breakfast juice but yeah lovely resiny tones as well in there that is really really dank not too sweet not too bitter not too savory it's just murk man anyway it smells absolutely fantastic let's give it a taste cheers It's absolutely wonderful. It's almost got like a smoothie mouthfeel to it, but then that carbonation comes up. Not fierce, but it just helps, like, so it doesn't become like a gloopy mess on the palate. I can almost feel like little bits and bobs, as if you've got like, like a, a juice that's still got little bits of the fruit flesh in it. That's the sort of image that I'm getting with this one. It's 
chewy. It's resiny. A lovely bitterness on the back end. It's got like a very green taste to it as well, but not really harsh. That's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. It's that mouthfeel though. I'm not sure what they've put in there to reinforce that mouthfeel, but they're doing it right. And, you know, for such a small outfit to produce a beer like this, absolutely wonderful. It really, really is. It's not as vibrant or as fruity as some of the ones that I've had. But it's just so, like, mature. And I don't know. I don't know what the best word to describe this beer would be. Aside from two words. Fucking awesome. Yeah, it's got like genuine fruit flavour to it. And you'd almost think that there's actual fruit, pulp, flesh, juice, rind, all sorts in it. Not as sweet as the aroma suggests, which is really nice. Crushable as anything. And, uh, you know, 5.2%. Have a few of these. You're going to get yourself into a spot of bother. But, yeah, this is... <laughs> excuse me. It's contender for beer of the year for me. It's a lot greener. And, like, almost herbaceous than some of the other beers of this style that I've had from the UK. I'm actually pouring in here. God, look at that. Oy, oy, oy. This is like Merc porn. It really, really is. It's not really changed too much. Gone a little bit more uh, opaque and slightly browner, if anything. Like eggshell. I wish it looks like an egg, like a brown eggshell, doesn't it? Yeah, lovely bits and pieces at the bottom. Particulates, haze for days. Wonderful. Hashtag this, hashtag that. It's really fantastic. It genuinely is. And when you put it all in, that body is just reinforced even more. That's fantastic. That is genuinely one of the best beers that I've had this year. Wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. Um, if you come across it on your websites or your local bottle shops, pick yourself up a couple of bottles because this is fantastic. If you love your murky, hazy... Uh, New England style IPAs. Like I said, not as vibrant or as fruity as some of them, but it's got such a satisfying body to it and a wonderful mouthfeel. And a big kick of bitterness on the back end as well, which I'm really, really enjoying. Yeah, it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And, uh, yeah, I have to try some of their other beers, uh, potentially any other dark beers that they have, because... They could be onto something really special with this. And uh, yeah, definitely a brewery to look out for, guys. Really, really is. Never known fog like it. it. It is pretty foggy, isn't it? You would not think that's a beer. You would not think that's a beer. So a cloud water better watch the back, seriously. For just a brewery based on a farm. I'm not sure like how big the brewery is, but I'd imagine it's not exactly the biggest. And to produce a beer like that, that's why I love doing these videos. And uh, next time I'm at the Northern Beer Temple, I've got to pick up another bottle of that, or maybe the next batch of it, or just more beers from that brewery because it's fantastic. I'm getting like like sweet garlic and onion flavors now. It's just Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. <coughs> 10 out of 10. I don't think you'll be surprised. It's a shame I have to talk quietly because I could just go on and on and on about this beer, seriously. Um, so yeah, if you have tried this one or anything else from these guys, then let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. 
what are some of your favourite New England style uh, beers that the UK are producing? Of course, check out Rivington Brewing Company, check out Northern Beer Temple, and of course, if any of my friends or fellow beer tubers have reviewed this one, their reviews will be included in the description box down below. And uh, yeah, I've nearly finished that beer already, and it's not going to last. So um, yeah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful stuff. One of the best beers of the year by far. And uh, yeah, we've still got a few more months left, so uh, if anything can potentially beat that, I'll be on par with it. I will be a very happy and drunk chappy. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, thank you for sticking with me, and until the next time, you guys stay safe and keep drinking really good beer. I don't know who I'm stealing that line off, I still can't work it out. See you guys later.